but today it's gonna be a cool tutorial we're gonna learn in After Effects how to track a subject a moving subject and how to attach a text to it if you go in the description tab you will find a link I prepared some material for you so we can work uh, alongside step by step you can follow what I do so what you have to do go in the description tab click on the link where you will find the material once you click that link you will be directed to this web page from where you can download the two elements there will be an emoji which we're gonna use as an object and also a walking shot which is literally a video clip and that's what we're gonna track you just want to select the two items and then right click on them and click on download it's just 40 megabytes so very light elements and once it's done you want to go to your download folder there it is and you want to unzip it so you just double click on it and now you've got your material in this folder so you just want to copy it and paste it into your project folder I've already opened Adobe After Effects I'm gonna save this project and I'm gonna save it in uh, my folder here in the documents and I'm gonna call it text tracking we're not really gonna track the text we're actually gonna track a subject and attach the text to it but that's just for reference and this is my project I save it there here we go what I can suggest is also to copy the workspace I have here so as you can see I have the project panel open I also have the composition open and the tracker panel and then we're gonna work with some other things around and of course you want to have the timeline down here open now I'm going to import the material we have downloaded and you can just double click here in the project panel go and search for your footage your material and I'm actually importing the whole the whole folder so it's already named for me also I'm going to create a new bin with the folder icon and we're gonna name it comps so in here we're gonna save the main composition to create a comp I just go to the walking shot right click on it and I go to new comp from selection so you will create a composition with the same settings of your video so same frame rate and same resolution let's click on that there it is I'm gonna drag my comp in the comps folder and it's already as you can see the comp is already open here in the timeline okay what do we have I just filmed this shot when I was in Sardinia in front of the ocean in front of the sea and what we're gonna do is to track my cap a couple of tips here when you want to track a subject in After Effects but in general also in Premiere you usually want to have a nice contrast between the subject you want to track and your background and that's why we're gonna track the cap because the cap it's white and it's really standing out against the background so usually when you use the tracker here in After Effects you want to have a very strong contrast between your subject and and all the surroundings of your image now if you've never tracked anything in After Effects first of all we're gonna zoom inside the, the this panel the composition panel just to have a a clearer and a better view of the subject so you can zoom in by pressing Apple or Control plus when you have the composition panel uh, active now the subject is quite big and clear what we have to do is to go to the tracker window we go to track motion you will see different tracking options but for now we want to focus on the track motion because that's what we want to do we want to track the motion of the subject and actually first of all I'm gonna zoom out again so I go down here and click on fit and we're gonna watch the video so we have an idea of what's happening this was a drone shot it's quite slow because it's rendering out so maybe you can play it instead and I just try to scroll through but as you can see it's very slow but I'm basically walking along the stacks here um, on the sea now that you've seen what's happening in the scene let's zoom in again with command or control plus before you do that make sure that on your timeline you are at the beginning of your timeline there it is and we want to go to the tracker window so let's click on track motion and all these settings will highlight 
And let's go quickly through the different options. In motion source, that refers basically to the layer you want to track, which is called walking shot, as you can see here. If you had different layers in your comp, you will see all the layers listed here. But for now, we only have one layer and that's what we want to track. Also, current track, this is the tracker one because you actually can apply many trackers to the same layer. And for track type, we leave it on transform. Also, position. So with this command, we are going to follow the position of our subject. Otherwise, you can change the rotation of your target or also the scale. But that's not what we're looking into today. You would have noticed also then when we have created the tracker here, the window on the right hand side jumped from the composition window to the layer window because we are now working on that specific layer, not in the whole composition. And in the layer window now, you will notice two tiny squares. This is actually the area we want to track. And if you hover on the squares and click on them, you can increase the size of it. Also, you can move them around. And when you move them around, you will see a zoom of the subject. So I'm going to zoom even more with Command Plus. And what I want to do with these two squares, basically the small square here inside refers to the actual points we want to track. So let's say I want to track the white of the hat, of the cap. I'm going to increase the size of this square and you can see we can change the shape into a rectangular shape as well. We want to cover the whole cap like that. So you want to try to do the same thing. And with a bigger square, I actually create a limit. So I'm telling to, to Premiere, I want to track the white cap, but also stay inside this wider area. So don't go outside this, this area if something happens. So I'm quite happy with this and I'm going to zoom out with command minus. Now to start the process of tracking, we want to go back to the tracker here and click on this play button, which is actually the analyze button and then press analyze. Now, as soon as in the video, I start moving, look what happens to the tracker is literally following my cap. As the software is analyzing, I wanted to give you these tips. Basically the tracking works uh, better when, again, you have a very neat contrast between the background and uh, the subject, but also you don't want to have anything in the foreground. Because let's say that your subject, in this case me, is walking behind a lamppost, for example. As soon as my subject hits the lamppost, the, the tracker loses the signal, so it doesn't, it doesn't know what to do anymore because it loses the subject. Another instance when that happens is when you have the same color of your subject in the background. So for example, if my background here had been white, for example, like my hat, then again, the tracker would have lost, would have lost me, would have lost the subject. But in this case, as you can see, once again, the white is just against uh, the green of the sea or the brown of the, the rocks of the stacks. So bear in mind, the tracking doesn't work with all the clips, but you need to work on specific clips only, I'm afraid. I mean, you can still track it manually, so you can adjust your tracking manually, but you're going to waste a lot of time, especially according to your frame rate. If you have filmed at 60 frames per second, then that's going to take forever. So let's just finish it analyzing and then we carry on with the tutorial. Great, that's done. So you will see here now, in the layer window, a lot of <laughs> tiny squares. These are actually all the keyframes. So each square is a keyframe, which is your subject moving. This is the actual tracking we have created. Now, if we go down to the actual shot here in the timeline and you press U, with U, you're going to open all the effects that you applied to your layer. In this case, we only have the tracking effect, so there it is right there. And as you can see in the timeline, these dots, these are all keyframes. And if you scroll through, of course, your tracking is, is going to move and follow your subject in your layer window. Now, what we want to do is also to create a text. So we want, we want to attach the text to this tracking now, remember? So let's go back to the composition window 
up here and I'm gonna decrease the size one more I go to the type tool here at the top menu and I just press in the composition window and I'm gonna type a text whatever you wanna write so I'm gonna write this guy's a jackass yeah that's me and of course you can choose the font the size of the font and so on and we are gonna do it now together to do so of course you you can double click on the text here in the um, in the sequence and you can choose your font and whatever the size of the font and so on we can also zoom out a bit more just to have an idea of how big the text is Okay, we can also fit uh, to the size of the frame. That kind of works for me, it, it looks all right. What I'm gonna do too is to create uh, like an arrow. I'm just gonna draw it quickly. So if you go to the tools once again at the top, we can get a rectangular shape. Make sure you don't have any layers selected here in the sequence, otherwise you're going to create a mask instead of a new object. So we're going to click in the gray area of the sequence here and now I'm going in the composition window once again and kind of draw uh, like a line something like this it's quite big as well cool we're gonna move it and rotate it so you want to go towards the corner of your new um, line and we can actually move it there towards the head of the subject and I'm gonna move also the layer I just click on the layer and move it somewhere there so I'm referring to this guy here so what we want to do basically we want to create a pre comp so a sub comp with the text and the line we drew together so we're gonna select both of them here in the sequence we right click on it and we choose pre compose we're gonna call it text and now we want to go back to the working shot we click on it but also we want to go to the layer window not in the composition window so click on the layer window and we are going to edit the target so we're gonna tell into After Effects now I want my text to follow exactly the same movement of my subject so of the cap in this case and to do so we just go here in edit target and uh, automatically we will have the text layer selected but once again if you have different layers you can see all the list of your layers here we click OK and what we have to do is just to press apply we're gonna click on apply and After Effects is asking do you want me to apply the movement just on the x-axis or the y-axis or both and we choose both so in this way our text will move up and up and down but also forward and backward literally following the whole movement of the tracking and press OK now we had a slight change here in the position of the text but we can change the position anytime by going to the text layer we press A for anchor point and you don't want to change the position so work on the anchor point so now if we play the timeline from scratch we will have the text following our the action of our subject throughout the whole video and it's actually working quite well as you can see here now my computer is quite slow I hope your machine is better in rendering out also you can decrease the quality of the preview right here so you can go to half quality of a third or quarter and so on maybe let's put it to half uh, but yeah still quite slow <laughs> yeah you can see the tracking worked really well now I want to show you the last thing because what we have done here we we have targeted the composition so in this composition we can now put any element we want so a photo a text an image whatever and the composition will still follow our cap our subject so we can go inside the text um, composition double click on it and of course you will see the text and the the stripe we, we drew but in the elements which I supply to you guys you can find the emoji 
it's a happy emoji and we want to drag it into the timeline here just above all the layers there it is and here more or less I should have my face so the face of the guy walking what we're gonna do is to blind out the other layers in the pre-comp we go back to the walking shot composition and now we see the face the emoji on my actual face and if everything works well we just go to the beginning of the timeline and the emoji face will follow my face and it will cover my face so if you want to do something funnier or cover someone's face that's what you can do let's have a look around there it is so wherever I'm going the emoji happy face is following me and he actually it works really well as you can see it's kind of perfect <laughs> right so guys that's how you track a moving subject in After Effects and how you link a text or any other object to that specific moving subject. As always if you have learned something new and I really hope you did consider to hit the subscribe button and of course you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Mamo Air. I will see you in the next video, thanks for watching. Memories fall up the road